hello dear human being there or i <laughs> i think there is a human being watching this but never know <laughs> but well uh i would like now talk about how i have um won my music traumas or well i have not won all of them yet of course <laughs> yeah you can feel it you can see it you can hear it but um but some of them um i can warn myself so that i uh, dare to publish my sing uh, singing and my songs in youtube publicly and i am very happy of that um and it is so funny that um when i when i accepted that um maybe no one likes my songs and maybe i don't have any um subscribers or anything after that uh, uh quite many people have subscribed subscribed <laughs> this channel and i don't uh, <laughs> even now i don't uh, truly understand why because uh, I'm just here, my vulnerable, uh, unfinished shelf, and <laughs> uh, I just be. Um, but I'm glad if if some other people like me also, because I like myself very much, and I love myself, and I also like my songs, even though they are not perfect and they are not like uh, true music and. Um, but they come from my heart and from my true feelings, usually, at least. Uh, and it is also funny that uh, actually quite lately, uh, because I have this one uh, person that um, try to make me fear and try to silence me um, and have... Um, affected many traumas to me and um <clears throat> that person have uh pressured or manipulated or something like that um that person's uh, friends and uh, mates to stalk me and uh, that have been quite um not so nice that have been quite uh uh horrifying but now lately i saw that one of those um, stalkers uh liked my songs actually and um, gave me feedback that my songs are very beautiful and and that that person thought that my voice is beautiful and um that is quite funny that <laughs> uh that person i have feared so much but i don't fear anymore uh that person uh, thought that that uh it's possible to frighten me and make people um stalk me but actually some of them uh, became my followers <laughs> that amuses me a lot it's it's like uh when you are in path of love it just happens sometimes it might might take some time and battles but it just happens that that uh when some people try to attack you it turns out that actually uh it heals you and i don't have to attack back to them i don't i don't i don't want to revenge or something i just want to be happy and in peace and in my own love and i i do this forgive um uh, work all the time i want to forgive to people that have hurt me but it's a process and there is there is um anger and many emotions in the way i have to get through and sometimes i make a song song a rap song or something uh, 
and to help me uh, go through the feelings, also the difficult feelings. And via that process, I go um, closer and closer to the true forgiveness. Uh, I can I can feel it all already in my body, but it goes deeper. I wish everything good to also those people that have hurt me, and of course. I am a human being. Of course, I hurt also other people. Usually without meaning it. We do it all. We do it all the time. <laughs> it's it's a pity, of course. But um, it happens. Shit happens. But we can learn to purify ourselves. We can learn to heal. We And it comes from ourselves. <laughs> no one else can heal myself but me. Everyone are are allowed and um, able to heal deeply, but it's long process, <laughs> so no hurry. <laughs> but well, about the music traumas. Um, mm, sorry, I'm just so happy. I just want to be here in my happiness right now. I feel so uh, energetic, safe, loved, uh, eager and enthusiastic, inspired, amused. <laughs> this whole uh, weird world is quite, <laughs> quite odd, but interesting. Fascinating. Um, anyway, I got many music traumas from childhood. Uh, for example, one person uh, said to me when I uh, sang that that using wrong and uh, was very angry when I when I sang wrong. <laughs> And and said that I do it on purpose and I want to irritate. Uh, and sometimes these situations led to violence also. In in that situation. So from that early age, I I thought that it's it's um, frightening to sing sing along. If I sing wrong, something bad will happen. And I, but I, I always sang as a child, but mostly alone. But I remember one situation when I sang with my mother. We were walking, uh, actually hitchhiking, and I saw this um, very beautiful uh, blue uh, flower. Uh, that is kissan kello, uh, harakan kello. Actually, it's purple uh, flower. Uh, I was four years old, and I sang this. This is one of my first uh, self-made song I have made. It goes like this: Kello harakan, puson sulle anna. Kello harakan. Puson sulle annan. <laughs> and I, I sang this song for maybe 15 minutes or something. I just sang it. Was, it, it, it was like mantra, actually. And you, uh, nowadays mantras are quite um, famous. Uh, some, some song just um, repeating and makes people uh, feel comfort but i comforted myself with that song <laughs> and i uh, truly loved that um, cute little uh, cute little flower and want to sing to it but uh, then my mother first she said that oh what a beautiful song but when i just sang and sang and naturally she became stressed because she was already very stressed because of some family situations 
And and she uh, finally she, she said that, oh, shut up already. Why don't you sing something else? <laughs> and I have noticed that it is um, still very difficult for me to sing the same thing all the time. And maybe that is some basis for my improvisational skills, because I start to feel embarrassed and... Uh, I start to feel bad when I sing same thing again and again. And usually, for example, my safety song that is um, almost similar different times, but also that varies a lot uh, depending on how I feel when I sing it. It sounds every time a little different. But I think also that is that is actually true because everything changes and for me it feels violent to sing or do something um, similarly in different times because nothing is same <laughs> i am not the same so why why should i sing uh, a similar way but i would like to sing the same thing in that moment if it feels like it if i feel like feel like now singing for example only like can't I sing that one one hour for example if I feel like it there is no rule <laughs> only rule in my head <laughs> uh, but anyway I also had uh, quite bad music dramas in school at school because um, I got to music class and my music teacher was not so nice um, he said to me, for example, that uh, Tuisku cannot play even the, what is those, uh, rhythmic sticks. Uh, uh, that is very easy instrument, actually. But uh, he said that, start again! Tuisku cannot play even the rhythmic uh, sticks. She had no musical skills at all. And it hurt me very much. And I, I thought that, okay, I cannot play anything. I cannot sing. I cannot play. I don't have any kind of mu musical skills or uh, gifts. But that is so not true, actually. Every one of us, us have musical um, abilities. We have, we have it, in, it inside of us. Something is... Um, Mm, some songs are going all the time in the universe and they don't have to be mainstream pop songs or anything but something is is playing inside of us dancing playing uh, some uh, sounds <laughs> but um uh one of the turning points was um, about maybe two years ago, or I don't remember so clearly. But anyway, when I had this music uh, uh, cor course at school in uh, in um, uh, what is that? Not high school, but <laughs> higher. <laughs> I don't remember it in English, but anyway, adult school. Uh, and there was this resonari, that is very interesting uh, uh, thing, actually. And resonari guy taught music to us. And it was so funny and healing way he taught it. And I learned that, okay, I can also learn music. I am uh musical and 
because Resonari t- teach music also to people with different uh, dis- disabilities. So I thought that, okay, I can, I can learn also. Everyone can learn. And it was so nice to notice. But even more important was when my uh, one friend, uh, one day after the music uh, lesson, we stayed there by permission. And she said that, okay, to school, would you like to try some drums? And I was like, oh, shit, I have so much traumas to music and especially to rhythmic music mm, playing. Because when I first time played drums at school, everyone laughed at me and I did not have time. I had only maybe two minutes or something to play and I had never played before uh, drums. So I, I could not... Um, uh, I could not do it properly, of course, but everyone laughed at me and bullied me that I cannot play drums. So I just uh, took it inside of me and thought that I cannot do it. But when my friend was there and she was supporting me emotionally, I just cried and cried and I let the feeling out. The feeling that I cannot play, and she she was there supporting me and said that that you can play and uh, you can have fun. You don't have to uh, do it properly. And I just have had fun, and it was so uh, opening experience. I had so fun with her, and that was one of the turning points. And after that experience. Uh, much of music started to come out of me. <laughs> it just it just happened. Many songs. It just started started to flow. And now <laughs> I'm also all, almost drowning to that flow. <laughs> it comes so much, but it doesn't matter. I'm I'm happy. Um, uh, and after that, also, I I have been able to teach music to other people's also. For example, one bullied uh, girl, teenager, who said that she cannot play drums and she cannot sing or anything. We made trap music together in when I was uh, practicing with youths. And she played drums and she was happy to play them. And I, I was inspir- inspiring her. And a couple of days ago, I I borrowed my ukulele to uh, first three years old girl and his, her mother and after that one year old boy and to her mother and they tried it and we had fun. We had so much fun. <laughs> it's playing. It's not like uh, following the rules or being obedient or... <laughs> Or what is that in English? It's not about pressure. It's playing. It's fun. It's free. It's safe. It's it's safety, freedom, being in love, uh, flow, inspiration. That is music. And I think that uh, that improvisation, improv, improvisation. That is so nice and everyone should have um, opportunity to do that freely. Without any punishment, without any judgment. We should have opportunity to make noise, to try and feel and and, um, explore what kind of sounds is coming out of us. Something like that. You are allowed to make noise. You are allowed to make beautiful noise and even the ugly one, so so called. But they are all important and valuable, and they are all of you. 
Um, hmm. And I feel like this um, um, YouTube channel is also very therapeutic for me. Maybe the most therapeutic for, for me, of, of course, because it's most personal for me. I win my shame here posting, for example, this video. <laughs> and I love myself. I allow myself to do things, to be every kind of... Uh, I'm just so happy that I have beaded many traumas and the work continues. And I don't want anyone anymore to uh, to make me stop creating what I create, what I be. No matter is it good or bad or... Uh, I don't think there are good or bad uh, creativity. It's all just flowing. So let's create and let's be. And I want to encourage, inspire people to do what they want to do. If it's not hurting anyone, it's if it's not harmful, just do it if you like. Bye bye.